Hello everybody, I have a quick countertop haul video to share with you and my cat is climbing through the paper, of course. Um, these are some of the things that I picked up from a, a shop with me that I did and also a quick stop that I didn't film because I'm just horrible at shop with me videos. So, let's see what I got. I picked this guy up from St. Vincent. He's a vintage like cake topper. He was um, 30 cents. I cleaned his little price tag off already because I was taking pictures. So I got him from St. Vincent. Um, jewelry was half off. So this little Damascene cat, um, usually made in Spain, was a dollar. And this one has a recent sold of 15. So that's not too bad. Um, there's one that's like a double cat that sells for like twice that. So look out for this sort of pattern in the double cat um, brooch. Then I snagged this belt buckle, which they considered uh, jewelry. So it was 250 and it is a 1980 rain tree belt buckle. This one in particular is not in the solds. There are some that have sold for like, from like $9 to like $80, depending on what is on the front. So I think for 250, it's not, you know, too bad if, if you only got like 10 bucks for it. I would love to see it go for a little more, maybe like 15, but hey, we can only do what we can do. <laughs> then I grabbed a couple of Valentine um, tissue papers right before Christmas. I ran out of all my little cute like tissue papers and little things to put in the boxes and I thought I kept buying tissue paper I thought I had a ton but between wrapping presents of my own and then Bianca using tissue Gabriel using tissue and then I was um, packing orders with it it went so fast so these are the only two little Valentine things that I saw so I grabbed those and you don't get a lot you get six and ten but it's whatever it'll be a little something then I got this bowl, but it currently has our strawberries for my strawberry shortcake in it. It is a crisscross pattern hazel atlas bowl. It was, I got it at Salvation Army. It was, um, I want to say $2.99. I got it the other day. Um, yeah. Anyways, that's that. <laughs> and then, okay, a lot of people don't like these, but I am a sucker for these cool, um, state plates. <laughs> so... Especially because there's a guy I follow on Instagram that's been in like the vintage flea market magazines and stuff for his cool plate walls that he makes. I think it's it's coming back. It's a thing, you guys. It's going to come back. You watch. But I have here Pennsylvania. And I want to say these were 99 cents. I've washed them and taken pictures. And I'm sorry about the lighting. But yeah, it's the blinds. And if I open it, I'm going to be blind. So they were 99 cents. So we have this one. I really loved these with the scalloped edges and these you know they do sell but again it's a an eye of the beholder thing if someone's looking for it and they want it they'll pay for it they're all over the place the pricing you know so here's a cool florida one with like this great sort of i don't know like mossy green with a gold some of them have a maker on the back and some of them don't like this one is taylor smith taylor and it says Gladys, 1956. Gladys uh, wrote that on there for us. So that one's really neat. And then we have Massachusetts. And this is really cool. There's a lot of people that like this type of um, artwork in the black and white. But this one happens to be like a leaf green Massachusetts plate. It does have a little bit of crazing, but hey, I like that too. And this says Anderson Children, 1957. Here, there we go. I think that's really cool. We have West Virginia. This is like my least favorite, even though I always say that I would love to move to like Virginia, West Virginia, something like that, um, to have some seasons and stuff. But it's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think this went well with the gold. I don't know, like, I don't think that pairs well together when they first made it, so. And then, oh, this is probably my favorite one. I just love this New York one. Look at that fancy lady right there. Dang, I really like that. And again, it's the scalloped edge with the flowers. I'm a sucker for flowers. 
but I just really like this New York one. It's probably my favorite design that I got. My second is probably this one. I like the, the blue and white. It's interesting. And this one is, oh, I got a sale. Um, that's good because <laughs> my sales have been stinking. But it's, um, yeah, Virginia. What did I say? It says Homa and Carol Inc. Something like that. I don't know. Love that. Can you imagine these up on a wall, you guys? I've never been, like, really anywhere. So these are just amazing. And I've told you this before in my other videos that I love, um, like, uh, what's the word? Tourists, like, gifts, like, destination gifts of people's travels. Because people actually did travel and go do things back in the day before there was so much, you know, technology and stuff. So I really think that idea is really cool. It's a, like, it's almost like a lost art. <laughs> but anyways, this is um, New Orleans, Louisiana plate. It's all hand painted. It does look like the artist that was painting. Because like if you look up here, it's got a little bit of red in the horizon or some some kind of color and it's like got it right there but thought that was awesome and then here's another one that same type of thing that I don't know I just don't think this paired well with this they're cool but like it should have gone with something like this see I don't know I don't know that's just me oh this doesn't say anything on the back then this one is really neat the great smoky mountains the loop national park it does have a little bit of sort of i guess cracking there and the it's like a transfer this one is says john's co japan and then that says ironstone wear yk crown brand made in japan so that is neat and then the last one is Maine, which is really cool. They have a little, a lot of cool pictures. I like the, actually the color palette that they chose to make the design with. That one doesn't have anything on the back either, but those were 99 cents each. I'm a sucker for these things. <laughs> All right. Then I got this little box of goodies and I'm probably going to send these to my sister because she likes these little things. I got a glass snail. We got these England little figurines. Um, I think it's all ears chipped, yeah. But these are like 30 cents. Got the fox. And then there's two hippos. I thought one of the ears were broken. Yeah, I think this one's okay. And then this one, the ear was broke or something. I don't know. And then we got like a lemur. Squeakers. No. Oh, he's scratching at the door. Then we got squeakers. No, no. Sorry Hold about that. that. I had to get him away from the door. <laughs> All right. Then we have this little glass hippo that's so cute. And then this like beaver or something. So I got those guys, but I think I'm going to send them right on to my sister. I know some of them sell. I mean, usually these lots these things have to sell in lots and like pretty big ones to get really anything for. So we'll just send that right on to her. Then I grabbed these two. I got to look in my Tumblr book. I was trying to look online and I saw a picture that had these listed. Um, but it didn't really say like there was, I couldn't click on it to go anywhere. It was like the picture and it brought you to worth point, but then it was a different listing <laughs> it just didn't make any sense but yeah so i grabbed these these were like 99 cents then i picked this up and this is so teeny tiny i'm pretty sure it's like a nursery mug for a child's bedroom i'm not sure the image it, dep it depicts on there let's see if i can move this here can you see that hello focus focus for me there you go. Nothing on the bottom. It's got a little bit of a chip on the top, but it's an old chip because it's real dirty. The gold on the 
looks like there might have been gold or silver on the rim and it's worn off but that was really cute it's an antique then I grabbed these it's not focusing come on there we go I grabbed these but I didn't realize until I was like taking pictures of it and then I was like with my camera I was like ooh, because I can't soak it because these two the paint on here and up here will come right off so I was having to wipe it and then look at it again and wipe it and look at it again so I went to go take pictures and I was up close to it and I was like oh I need to clean it one more time and I saw that crack so it looks like the tail came off and they put it back on I mean they did really well considering but nevertheless it broke off and I need to clean them again oh look at that I don't know a lot of times I'll give them a wipe down but I let you guys decide how you want to clean these things so, I mean, because there's some people that will take the paint right off of mercury balls and just leave them like they are. But me, I'm like, oh my God, I can't do it. So, I'll leave that up to you guys. <laughs> then I got these really cute pelican. Why aren't you focusing? Focus, there we go. Salt and pepper shakers. The back, right down here, says Germany. So, I thought that was really neat. Um, I didn't find them in my salt and pepper shaker books. But I'm going to look in my luster wear book to see if I can find them because they are painted with the luster. So we'll see if those are in there. Oh, and did I say one of these has a thing? What does that say? Norcrest. All this weird lighting, it doesn't want to focus very well. There we go. Um, I, it's like, I was like, do these go together? But I think they do because their colors are very similar, like how they how they were painted. So I think they do. And in my salt and pepper shaker book, there are some that one is bigger than the other. So I think I'm good with that. Then I got these guys. I couldn't find these either. And I think, like, hold on, they're wooden. I think so. I think they're wooden. They're really cute. Don't they look like they're, she, oops, whoopsie, come back here that she's like blushing and they're like little sweethearts or something. I don't know, that's, they just look like, he looks like he's trying to flirt and be like, hey baby, what's up? <laughs> that's what he looks like. But anyways, I thought they were fun. <laughs> and then I found these cuties. These are called hangers because they're hanging. <laughs> um, they are in my salt and pepper shaker book. That book I think was published 2002 or something. And back then they put them at like 15 bucks. So I don't know, I have to look online. I was really just looking in my books for them to see if I could find them. And yeah, there's actually a couple different ones. There's some that are um, the, oh my gosh, why do I do this? Every time I lose my words, they're, you know, like destination gifts. Like, oh my gosh, what's the word? You guys screaming it to me. <laughs> Oh my God, you know what I'm talking about. When you buy a gift, when you're going somewhere. <laughs> um, then I found this girl. She was like, kind of like hanging at the thrift store. Focus, there we go. And she just looks so cute. If you turn her around, she's got the Japan label. Focus inside her right there. And then she's got a little I don't know. She's just a sweet little girl. I want to say, oh, did I not tell you? Um, these were $2.99. These were $2.99. These were $2.99. These were a dollar a piece. This was $0.99. Cents. These were $0.49. Cents. She was $1.99. And then I got this guy. He's from St. Vincent. He's got some nice uh, wear to the bottom of him. He's pretty old, you could tell. I'm not sure what would have went on top because I haven't found him. Actually, when, when I do an image search on eBay, it pulls up clowns. So, I don't know, but he's really cool. He's like a nice heavy piece and it's not focusing again. All right, then we got this ironwood carved bird. Man, if this would have been the turtle or I think it's a ram, 
the turtle and the ram sell quite well. Um, the turtle was like over $200, the ram for like $150, but uh, figurines, animals, and people were half off. So this guy was two bucks. So I got that. Oh, yeah. So he was a dollar. And then the last few things that I got was from my booth the other day. You guys saw me walk around there. I grabbed this March mug. This is like the birthday girls, kind of like them, that I want for my grandmother by Anarco. It's really nice. It doesn't have any chips or anything. It was $2. So I grabbed it from there. And then there was a few Starbucks mugs, and I only grabbed three. They're all listed right now, but um, I got these at my, that booth. I say booth place. Um, uh, the place where my antique booth is. Like a, It's an indoor flea market, they consider themselves. So that is everything so far, you guys, from the Shop With Me video to some things that I picked up that day that I didn't really film. I did stop by the Salvation Army today, which was a bust because today was half off day and they had absolutely nothing new to put out. They literally said, nothing came today, we don't have anything. So I left and I went to um, St. Vincent again and I went to hospice and I found a few things there and that will be in a ne the next video. So you guys stay tuned for that. So you guys, let me know. Like usual, what was your favorite thing that I found in this haul? Was there anything that you definitely would have grabbed? And it's not focusing. And is there anything that you might have left behind? We all have different flavors, you know what I mean? Like, we all like different things, so different things sell for different people, different strokes for different folks. So anyways, guys, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Subscribe to my channel, of course. And don't forget, like I said, to leave me down below. What was your favorite item from this video? What would you have, I don't know, left behind? All right, guys, I've talked enough. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye. So I had this sitting in the garage. This is another thing that I got. I was going to put my stuff away from this stuff. <laughs> and I was like, oh crap, I forgot to share this. This is a push pin map. And back in the day, I mean, even still now you could, but back in the day, you'd have this hanging up in your house and you'd have these little pins and you can pin them on all the little cities and stuff that you traveled. So it's actually pretty funny that right here, that pin is in Tampa. That's like where I am. And so you could tell it's an older map. This still says the Soviet Union. Um, let's see, down here it says copyright by Rand McNally and Company made in the USA. Does it have a date in particular? I don't see one, but let me try and flip it around now. Oh, it's kind of big. You could definitely woo -hoo, tell it's older. See here? So you would have wrote everything down back then, where you've been and all that good stuff. I got this at Salvation Army for $9.99. And, oh, it kind of sucked because I was like, oh, yeah, it's half off. No, it wasn't. It was not. So that is another thing that I got that I forgot to share with you guys. So now, my friends, that is all. You guys, I am not with it today. This is another add-on. Something else I got at my booth. And when I was bringing my stuff out to the garage, I was like, crap, <laughs> I forgot this stuff. So this is the video where I had you guys guess to see what I bought, if anything. So I, um, yeah, this is what I ended up picking up. I got this Literary Digest 1931 Atlas of the World. Um, Actually, I was taking the stickers off. That one was a $3 book, but it actually, when she, when the computer read it out loud, because it'll, when she scans it, it'll read the price to you. Like one time it said something was a trillion dollars and I was like, what? <laughs> but um, that book registered for 50 cents, but is the World Atlas from 1930. 
so I hate to go like this, but I only have one hand. But it's got all these maps. Oh my gosh, you guys, you don't know. I love maps and globes and all that goodness. So yeah, I got that for 50 cents. I love it. And then, let's see. This one was, I think, $2. Um, this one is from... It's just a kid's book. From 1906. Oh, it's got a torn page. I'm glad they're, like, really cheap because... Oh, that was written on. But anyway, so that's a children's book. And it's got some tape up there. You know, they're not in the best shape. And then inside there, I was keeping these straight, but I got these two. Um, I have this other um, price sticker here. It was $1.25 for this one. Oh, it's right there. Okay, so then this book was $1.25. <laughs> so... Easter postcard, and this was a cute little Christmas one. Oh, this is actually a card. This is the postcard. Then I got this book, The History of England. This might have been the, or unless it has its tag on it on the back. No, I took it off. Okay, so it's one of those dang things. But it's the History of England. Here, let me help it out a little bit. It's so falling apart. So there's an inscription, Eleanor Mombert from Rita or something like that, Christmas 1887. And let's see, it is copywritten 1884. So it's the history of England from 1884. So. I thought that was so cool. I already have the history of the United States um, from the same booth. I love her booth. Oh my gosh. She's beginning, or not beginning, she's, she has become my favorite. So I got those. And then I did get this bag, like you guys guessed. It has a bunch of, and again, I'm one handed. Let's see here. Of like um, cufflinks and stuff. Like, they just shoved them all in here. These are kind of plain with a tie clip. These have G's on it. And there's um, a tie clip. And the cufflinks there. Then there's these with like elk on it or something. Two pairs of those. Got this cloisonne type necklace. Looks like it probably went to this, but it's broken. Then you got these letter G cufflinks. These right here, little um, clip on earrings. We got this cross that went to something, this crucifix, and then some Forever 21 hair bands. So that was what was in that bag for a dollar. Not bad, this was the only sort of useless thing. <laughs> Except people could craft with that, you know, but. Anyways, then I got these. There were so many of these, and oh my gosh, are they so pr brittle. They were kept in a very dry climate. Um, yeah. But this is the Daily Times, Chicago's Picture Newspaper, copyright 1939, um, Tuesday, April 18th, 1939. So play ball, weather permitting. <laughs> I haven't opened them to look inside, and I'm, I, I don't know, I'm almost scared to because of them being like this. Look at that, Ugh. But $2, and then I got Hitler Ready for War Test. This is a real thick paper. This one's a little better, but still you could see, you know, coming apart. And then it looks like the sports page and stuff was on the back. This is the Sunday Times. That's probably why it's thicker, April 2nd, 1939. My grandmother wasn't even born then. Sunday Times, Three Nations Snag Hitler's Pole. 
it was so hard to choose. I wish I could have got the whole thing. And then we have Capital Hales Royalty King Queen in F FD's Parlor. Oh, so cool. And this one is June 8th, 1939. So that, <laughs> I said that that map was the last thing, but this is now, I'm pretty sure the last thing from that particular shop with me. And I showed you some other things that I really didn't get on camera, but that's what I got there. I think those were a steal. Saving some history, people, saving some history. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.